When it rains, it pours, my smexy ladies and gentlemen, as I have yet another graphics remaster comparison video for you all today with The Thing Remastered. We will compare the latest 4K footage of the remaster to the original Xbox version and also discuss officially confirmed aspects and features the developers Night Dive Studios have confirmed. Just to keep track, so far I have covered Croc Legend of the Gobbos, Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles, Tomb Raider 4 to 6 Remaster, and both of the Soul Reaver Remaster trailers that have come out. And now we are adding The Thing to the list. Retro games are back. There is a wave, and I say we ride the wave all the way back to happier days. Feeling happy, feeling blessed, let's get to today's video because Night Dive Studios are giving this remaster their absolute all and it truly shows. And I'm also going to stop saying the thing as the thing because it was hilarious in my head and I just heard myself say it. I don't think it's that funny. <laughs> So, very insanely quickly, I'll just remind or teach you what to expect from this game. It's a third person survival horror game, you're in the snow, it's freezing, and there are aliens about. This is a team based experience, and the unique aspects are aplenty. The aliens can take over host bodies and pretend to be human. That means that sometimes your teammates can change into creatures and attack you. This causes literally psychological stress on the team and that is something you have to manage. Your guys can freak out and you need to control that to improve your odds of survival. You control what items everyone has and everyone suspects everyone else. So the stress is super high and the chaos does follow. You need to earn trust and be careful not to waste your items. It's a unique spin on things for sure, and in this rare instance, comfort in numbers does not exist. Okay, that's enough. I want to start perving on all these smexy graphics and start the comparison thing, plus reveal what the developers have announced. So this first comparison screenshot I made for you all today is a great place to start and I'm sure you can figure out what is the new version. On the left, we have a picture from the Xbox version of the game, and on the right, the remaster. It's the exact same scene and monster. Immediately, what stands out are the new textures and materials of the monster. The shiny bumps and the added color really makes it pop. Let's jump to the next scene. This is an outdoor scene where a small explosion can be seen. The top is the remaster with the old the bottom. The explosion effect looks a lot more convincing in the newer version. Speaking of outdoors, let's jump to the next comparison. So I'm not sure which art direction they are taking for outdoor in the snow scenes. In this cutscenes, it's mostly grey around them and that matches how the original looked, as you can see here between the two. In other moments, outside of a cutscene and actual gameplay, you get strong and vibrant blue. Both have an interesting yet different effect on me. The grey feels more isolated and alone, while the blue feels colder and more of a threat. Let's cook some meat, some alien meat to be exact for this next one. So this is what it looked like on the original hardware. Fire effects looked more like coloured lights bleeding into each other. Now let's jump to the newer one and see that fire work at the end and how the alien looks. Fair bit of a difference, right? I'm really liking the use of color, how the light affects the wall, and you can see that bump mapping. Let's take a step back to see the whole team attacking a single foe. All the team members fighting this one guy and some others can be seen on the left as well. Just looks really nice. This other side by side, same alien getting toasted looks pretty sweet as well. That said, let's look at some humans as the upgrades there are pretty clear. So once again we have the same scene, old to the left, new to the right. Shadows have been added, there weren't any before, 
vastly better lighting. Of course, better materials and textures, colors look nicer, but we are also looking at unfinished work here. As we zoom in, we can see that thanks to the shadows that are now available, this guy is floating in the air. So things will look even better at launch, but overall, it's nice to see each aspect improved. Ladies and gentlemen, seems we are at the halfway point of the video, so my usual quick reminder that if you feel video games are about escapism and not activism, please, please subscribe right now as you're watching to help empower voices such as my own that just want video games to be games, no more, no less. And if you want to support me further, I do now have channel memberships where you can get a cool badge beside your name and custom emoji like these. Anyways, thanks for hearing me out. Let's get back to the video. Next up, let's look at some of the confirmed features the developers have mentioned for a moment. It's obvious by a glance and looking with our eyes that things look better, but let's take the devs at their specific words as well and let the quotes begin. So, improved 3D models, so the actual 3D models themselves, the polygons all being done, improved textures, improved environment, new dynamic lighting system, that's a big one with games, when you improve the lighting it changes completely how everything looks, specular mapping has been added, the shadows I mentioned before, shadows weren't really there, but now it is, depth of field, ooh, depth of field, I find that quite exciting actually, I think we can see some of the depth of field in this screenshot actually, I was, suspe I was suspecting that before, Depth of field is that little blurred effect with objects that are outside of focus, normally in the distance. I think depth of field is just a beautiful artistic choice, so I'm glad to see it here. They have also confirmed this is where it gets interesting. So 4K resolution, that's not too surprising, but still nice that it's there. What is quite insane though, and I had to double check this, but alongside the 4K resolution, they are claiming 144 frames per second. Yep, what what do you make of that? This is going to be one smooth experience with I'm going to assume on consoles hitting a flawless 60 frames per second with PC almost being able to double that. Th that, that is quite the tall order to even mention that in this day of age that yeah we're gonna hit the 4k resolution things are gonna be super super crisp and if you have the hardware that's capable you can run at 144 frames that that's pretty up there I'm normally happy with freaking 30 <laughs> frames per second of course 60 is a more smoother one I've never really bothered gaming above 60 frames per second sorry to upset any PC elitists out there I'm happy between 30 to 60 but the fact that they even mention it, what that represents is their confidence of like, yeah, we're going to drop the 4K name, which normally gets a lot of attention, but we're also going to back that up with, in, with insane frame rates. So um, they must have a very smooth, reliable um, engine going on here and good for them. So some more information from the developers is that they have actually worked with the original team. So these guys bring in this remaster, they are not the original people who made the first game the thing, right? However, they have worked with that original team, or I'm going to assume some of its old members, um, to make sure that they can improve actual gameplay aspects, such as improvement towards the fear and trust system. As I said before, you're going to have to look out for the psychology and the mental well-being of your team members because if you freak them out if they see too much scary shite out there they panic they will turn against you they will become a threat themselves so you need to keep them cool calm and collected while also being careful the fact that maybe they're an alien you need to be careful <laughs> what's important here is yet again we have another game receiving the remaster treatment and the developers decided that it wasn't simply enough to re-bring this game to modern audience. They're not going to simply improve the textures slightly, they've improved the textures drastically, they've improved the models, they've implemented a new lighting system, the shadows, the depth of field, the specular lighting, everything and more that they're adding here, the fact that they're bold enough to dare mention 144 frames per second beside the word 4K as well, because you don't want to say that in this day and age, because people are going to remember that and hold you 
accountable. So they're confident. Everyone I see talking about this is very excited for what they're bringing. And I have good memories of this game. I remember I sucked at it, but I remembered it. That was the point. I remembered it felt a little bit too beyond my means. You know, I, I wasn't the smartest kid. <laughs> and this game is about being strategic and this and that. And I don't think I was that strategic when I was younger. I think the older, wiser adult me is really going to enjoy this game in a way which I couldn't before. And before I only played it for like a day and then I got distracted because, you know, youth and good luck holding an attention span. I don't even remember what distracted me the first time, but yeah, game's looking good. Happy to bring it to everyone's attention once again that we have yet another remaster coming. Ride the wave. So many are coming out. It's fantastic. And um, yeah, we'll see how this we'll see how this game goes. With that being said, God bless you all. Take care, and um, I'll see you all next time. All right, bye bye.